you could have some strawberries and champagne sent up there waiting. Perfect. Cedric, I owe you. She'll fight with her boyfriend. She sets up a meeting with an accountant, and then she hires a photographer. What the hell is she into? Oh, no. But why don't we discuss it tonight in our oversized jacuzzi at the Four Seasons, where I just booked us the ambassador suite. Why would you do that? Because your place is still being fumigated, and my loft is overrun with redheads, so I thought, why not just go and enjoy ourselves? No. No what? No on the Four Seasons. If anyone should be sent to a hotel, it's Meredith. No, I try. It just it means so much to her to be there for Alexis, and... I just seem heartless to take her out and send her to a hotel. Really, Castle? Because you just tried sending me to one. No, but that was but because... But nothing. Button up, kitten. We're going home. No, you got to take care of it. This is Meredith we're talking about, the deep-fried Twinkie that Castle has sex with whenever she rolls into town. Lainey, look, I trust him. He's not going to have sex with her. Fine. Let's say it isn't about sex. It's about boundaries. Meredith is marking her territory. You can't just let her waltz in and out whenever she pleases. He's going to catch 22. Alexis is sick. Doesn't matter. This is a bore, girl. And guess who's losing? I know. Maybe you're right. Maybe I'm right? Of course I'm right. Maybe. I didn't come down here to talk about this. You said that you had something case-related. Yes. Are you ready for some good news now? That would be nice. I processed the victim's clothing and found trace amounts of someone else's blood on her jacket button. Which means her killer could have gotten cut during the attack. I'm running DNA now. I'll call you when I got something. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Yo, reach back there and grab that file. What am I, secretary? Grab the file. Haven't I done enough to solve this case for you? Read it. You are now record for Javier Esposito. Yeah, the good old days. So assault, resisting arrest, unlawful possession. Yeah. You were a mess. Yeah, but it's all I knew. Dad was gone, my mom was working two jobs. In my neighborhood, you had to do what you had to do to survive. Not everybody made it. This is where you tell me that I need to man up and get my act together when you did. Well, it not work like that. I need help. For me, it was one of my teachers. So a future in me that I ain't even seen myself. But it was up to me to make the choice to take which road to go down. I talked to your school counselor. What? She's going to call me if you keep ditching her. Oh, I'm going to call you once a week. Check in. Must be a dream come true for you. 
So it's just you and me. If you touch me, I'll press charge. I don't care. Where are they? I'm just a driver. I, I don't know it. Yeah, I'll send just the van for the black Yukon. So where does he go? Where does he take the girls? Come on, ask you again. Where does he take the girls? Someone else did. And I paid him $250. Um, Castle, 
that happened when you were a kid, I don't understand why that would change how I see you. Because it changed how I saw myself. The teacher read the paper to the entire class as an example of great writing, and they applauded. It was the first time I was celebrated for anything, and it was a fraud. I... I was a fraud. That's when I learned how to write. I wrote and wrote trying to be as great as everyone thought I was. Trying to earn that applause. I'm still trying. Your right castle it does change how I see you. Makes me like you just a little bit more. Wow. 
Happy birthday to me. That's my present. I can't wait to unwrap it. Later. Right now, let's just forget about the murder. Go to dinner. Celebrate your life. Come back and celebrate some more. Sounds perfect. That's a hoax. Then tell me why I found this. I dug into her phone records. It turns out the last phone call she ever made was to Daryl Meeks. The Daryl Meeks? Who's Daryl Meeks? Who's Daryl Meeks? Well, there is, there's, um... Okay, well, what about you? If not Bigfoot or zombies or ghosts, what do you believe in? I, I believe in the everyday magic of life. I mean, things that I can see and touch, like, um, the green shoots that pop through the snow in February, or the flat iron building, or the way that I feel when I hear cold rain. Uh, I can appreciate the everyday, but why not live in the possible? The world just doesn't have as many mysteries anymore. There's no new continents to explore. There's no more deepest, darkest Africa. Everything's all mapped out by satellites and sonar, yet still, people reach for the unknown. That's what makes us grow. Coltrane wouldn't have had that saxophone if Anton Sachs hadn't imagined it. Because now it separates us from the same moonshine. Well, you know, there is one. Catherine Howell Beckett. 